Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. Today I will show you how to set up a Martingale future spot on Bybit. And we use Bitcoin as example. The idea behind a Martingale bot, you'll find it here. Yeah. Uh, the idea behind a Martingale bot is quite simple. It automatically scales into the market when price moves against you. That means instead of buying everything at once, the bot adds more positions at lower prices. This can be useful if you believe the trend is still bullish, but you expect pullbacks along the way. So let's imagine we have um, some money to invest, yeah, or to trade with, and we want to scale into Bitcoin as it dips. So let's first of all create this Martin Martingale bot. We go to manual, go to long, because we would, you know, obviously in this case, we keep it simple. We say we want to trade on the long side. We have Bitcoin USDT futures Martin Gale already invest, uh, not invested, selected. And um, we'll just select 300 USDT here. And let me take you through the parameters here and how it works. Um, now, how do the parameters work? First of all, it's not a grid bot. A grid bot trades in a range and you have like grids where the price buys and sells. The Martingale bot obviously works differently. It just buys against you. It just buys as the market moves against you. So what are these parameters? They are a bit different and more complex than in a standard grid bot. So it's important to go through them. Now, the first setting is price decrease here. Yeah. Um, you can also hover above it and it explains everything. But yeah, price decrease, it tells the bot when to add a new position. So if I set it, at, for example, 5%, probably quite a bit too much, probably 1%, yeah. If I select it, uh, set it at 1%, for example, um, the bot will add to my position every time Bitcoin falls by 1% from the last entry. The next one is the position multiplier. It's now at 1.1. It defines how much bigger each new order will be. Because as I explained, the... Martingale bot will buy as the market moves against you, but it will normally at least increase the position size. Yeah, so basically you double down as the price goes against you. A multiplier of one means all orders are the same size. A multiplier of two means each order doubles in size. That's very aggressive. So a value like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 is more balanced and it increases gradually, but not too quickly. Yeah, so we could just select. 1.1, let's leave it as it is. And the next is a profit target, uh, per, no, max, max additions actually. Um, this simply limits how many times the bot is allowed to add. So if I set this to five, for example, yeah. If I select set it to five, then it is allowed to add five times before it stops adding new positions. Then we have profit target per round, which is here. And um, this is basically your take profit level. So for example, if I set it to, you could say 2%, um, the bot will close the entire position once it's back in profit by 2%. This means the bot aims for small, consistent wins, right? This is not to trade a breakout to the upside. It's not, it, 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 you know, it's not for holding for very large moves. Let's talk about leverage as well, because it's a futures bot. Bybit defaults to five times leverage, but that can be quite risky for Martingale because your position size grows as the market moves against you. So you could um, set set it, you know, if, you, if you're just starting out, right, you could start with two or three, yeah. For example, you go just select, select four. It depends on your investment, obviously. The less leverage, the higher the investment needs to be. Um, but again, I could also select 10 and then have a smaller investment. So you can keep your, you can keep the overall risk balanced um, by increasing leverage and reducing your investment, you just have to find a balance that works for you. Just make sure that you're comfortable with the overall risk that you're taking, right, when you add this bot or you start a bot like this. It's all about the combination of your investment and leverage that actually defines the risk, yeah. Um, now, important is the investment field, right? I have now a 200 USDT there, and, and that's quite straightforward, right? Uh, that's the maximum capital the bot can actually use. So 200 USDT. The bot cannot spend more than this. And finally, and this is very important, let's talk about stop loss because this is where I think many people might get confused. 
It's the most important part, obviously. So if you do not set a stop loss, the bot can keep scaling into losses until your entire investment is gone. With a stop loss, you define the maximum amount you are willing to lose. So for example, if I set it at 30%, yeah, if I, if I set it at 30%, this would define my risk. Yeah, so this caps my risk. The bot will automatically stop trading if the position goes 30% against me. That means the most I can lose in this strategy is, is uh, in this case, 60 USDT. And by that, you can kind of cap your risk. So the Martingale bot, to summarize, can be used to scale into a bullish trend during pullbacks. The key to using it safely is to keep leverage low. Yeah set a clear stop loss and accept that you are aiming for many small wins rather than one big move. So hopefully that helps you understand what a Martingale futures grid bot, uh, it's not a grid bot, futures bot can do. We have partnered with Bybit, one of uh, the world's largest crypto exchanges. If you'd like to try this strategy yourself, you'll find our official Bybit partner link in the description below. By using it, you support this channel and future tutorials and you'll also receive a 10% discount on trading fees for the first 30 days. Make sure you trade responsibly and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to further cover advanced bot setups in the future. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.